What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and I love a good search box. A well-designed, easy to use, easy to understand search box, but do you know how to design that type of search box? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a few tips on how to design really nice, easy to use search boxes in your websites and your interfaces. Let's get started. All right, the first tip I have is to make sure that there's a very clear call to action. Not everybody knows that you can hit enter on the keyboard just to do your search. So there has to be a clear call to action, a button. I like to have it right next to the form field itself or directly inside that search box so it all feels like one cohesive element and the user knows they're gonna go ahead and plug in their information there and they're gonna hit search there. Make sure it's really clear. Use that accent or complementary color that's in your color palette. Make sure it's clear, easy to find, easy to use, easy to understand, and easy to search stuff. The next tip is to give the user a hint what it is they can search for. Sometimes they don't know exactly what they should be searching for, so giving them something more than the word search with a dot, dot, dot afterwards can be really helpful. If it's a streaming service, maybe that placeholder text should say something like search for your favorite movies and TV. If it's a real estate site, maybe it should say search for an address or search for your dream home or enter the address of your dream home. Make it clear, make it concise, but give them some ideas on what they can search for. Tip number three is to give your search bar a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of padding, a little bit of margin, and a little bit of space. There's nothing worse than starting a search and seeing your search disappear behind some sort of hidden form field. That's the worst. Give it some space so the user can actually, you know, search for stuff. The next step is to make sure that your search bar is easy to find. If search is something that is a primary function on your site or in your application, you might want to put it in one of those primary kind of usual or expected places like the top right or the center of the hero or some place that's very visible and maybe kind of goes along with the standards of what's out there right now. Don't reinvent the wheel, put it where you know they're gonna find it. And the last tip is a little bit of a bonus. You don't need to, but it is a nice to have and that is some sort of animation or interaction. Once the user starts searching or presses search, you wanna have some sort of interaction that tells them we're processing your search. And so a blank screen that just flashes to the next screen, not so slick, not so nice. Maybe some sort of loading indicator, some sort of fun vector animation, or something that says we're getting it to you. It's on the way. Well, that's it. Those are some of my favorite tips for designing search boxes in your next interface project. What do you think? What did I miss? And what do you like to do with your search boxes? Leave those down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about UI design just like this one. So maybe stick around by hitting the subscribe button and hitting that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're searching for the right solution for your next project. I'll see you in the next one.